hey welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to show you how to change the default product of a particular listing so in this case let's uh, take i want to change the default product for this listing first to locate the listing go to the listing section once you are on the listing section go here and click this button which says edit details click on it once you click it will take you to the details page so here you will find this information default product in listing so from this drop down you can pick any of the available uh, products so let's say that in this case i'm going to change this to this maple tea then i have to select that and click save so once you click save then the changes will immediately reflect uh, let's wait for a moment for it to save okay now the changes are saved and one more important part is let's say that I want to change the default product for this product which is pattern I'm going here and clicking edit details what you will see is nothing you won't see anything here the reason is because this is the only product I have for this particular listing for you to see the all the options first you need to go and add more products to that listing if you're not sure how to add more products to that listing I will leave a link up here so using that uh, link you will be taken to a video go and watch that video in that video I have explained how to add more products to a particular listing so once you do that then if you come back here you will be able to find that particular uh, option where you can choose different products and you can select one which you want to keep it as a default product so that's how you do it and that's how you set a default product for your teespring listing before you leave in case you want to know uh, information like when you should change the default product and which product you should make as a default product for all those information I would recommend you to visit my website sitpublishing.com I will leave a link to this article down below in the description box as well go ahead and check out this article I also have the steps that you need to follow to change the default product on Teespring along with that I have some useful information that's all for today's video I'll see you guys in another video bye bye take care